In this episode of Down the Rabbit Hole, we're going back to 2023, when this guy, Richard Sharp, was once the chair of the BBC. I have decided that it is right to prioritise the interest of the BBC. I feel that this matter may well be a distraction from the corporation's good work were I to remain in post until the end of my term. So why did he feel he had to resign? It was all due to a £800,000 loan that he helped secure for, yes, Boris Johnson. Mr Sharp, Sharp, help you with your loan. Johnson, who'd personally approved Sharp's appointment as BBC chair. Why did you tell the committee, this committee, that you helped facilitate an £800,000 loan for the man who then gave you this plum appointment that you now hold? I I didn't facilitate a loan. You introduced the person who gave the loan to him. The person who gave the loan told you that he was going to help the Prime Minister with what you call his difficulties. You facilitated it because you made an introduction knowing that it was about money. I introduced Mr Blythe to Mr Case. I did not introduce Mr Blythe to Mr Johnson. We'll get into the nitty-gritty of the loan itself and Sharp's appointment as BBC chair in another episode. But first, let's ask why Johnson needed an £800,000 loan. His income plummeted, says Andrew Gimson, author of Boris Johnson, The Rise and Fall of a Troublemaker. So it's not surprising that he decided the best thing to do was borrow the money, as he expected his earning power to be large once he stopped being Prime Minister. Plummeted? As Prime Minister, he was getting £154,908. But, for example, before becoming PM, one major source of income was his gig as a columnist for the Daily Telegraph newspaper. Between July 2018 and July 2019, he was paid £22,916.66 a month by the newspaper for what he said was 10 hours' work. So he would have been earning... £275,000 a year just for that. Click here to see if Boris Johnson knows how many kids he has. 